Hey everyone, welcome back. I, uh, I don't know, I, I have this idea. This might be super lame, but I'm excited about it. So that's all that matters. I have this trinket box, which is like this antique box from my family. And inside is a bunch of stuff from my family, little antiques and stuff. And I thought that it'd be kind of cute to show you all what's what's in my trinket box so here's the the inside of the box you can tell that the silk is pretty old and damaged i had to repair the top of this because it was falling out and then in here is all the trinkets first up we have this set if you will of vintage keys all of these keys are well one they're really cute but they all go to different things different antique furniture different chest we don't even actually know what these all go to but just from all of the antique furniture we have we just have all of these keys and some of them don't go to anything anymore but obviously the keys themselves are super cool so this story behind this is kind of funny this is this old coin that I had to clean it a little bit. I still couldn't get everything off of it. But at first, we it was so dirty, like we couldn't tell. Originally, we thought maybe it was this old Roman coin, this Greek tetra some. I don't know how to say it. This gala like coin from Sicily that originated in like... 460 BC and I was like what that's crazy that's what this is it shouldn't be in my hands but then upon further cleaning you can see down here at the bottom it says copy so then I started researching and I found out that in like the 1960s they made a bunch of copies of these coins for some reason so this is a copy of a coin from the 1960s a lot of the stuff in this box is from like the 20s or the 30s and this necklace is we don't think it's jade we think it might be green adventuring or something else um but the stone just i mean maybe an expert could tell me right but the stone just doesn't seem quite like jade but this necklace is i think it's my great grandma's potentially I don't know. It's from 1920s, 1930s. There's a lot of costume jewelry and stuff like that. So that's what this is. But I think it's so pretty. This is a, um, a sleigh maker padlock, padlock. These were really popular. I don't know why. Like this was the brand in like the mid 1900s, maybe 1930. We don't totally know. But someone felt like it was worth keeping in our family so now i have it and it does work okay so it does still work so it still pops open like you can definitely use it which is cool apparently my grandpa and his brothers used to collect souvenir spoons souvenir spoons were i don't know when they were in in like 1930s 1950s something like that I don't know everywhere they went they're collecting these spoons so there used to be a ton of them and I'm kind of sad most of them are gone now but I did get to keep this one this is this one's from Sweden and it has a little Swedish symbol on the top and it's like silver plated nickel it was a very common thing that you would buy like at a gift shop but I think it's beautiful and I'm trying to collect a bunch of spoons like this now um so I guess I'm bringing back the spoon collection to the family sad that we don't have all the ones they collected from before but this is one of the ones they collected while they were in Sweden we don't exactly know the backstory on this spoon but this is just another vintage spoon that I'm pretty sure my grandma would use like to stir her coffee or you know stuff like that. It's a little sugar, a little tea, a little teaspoon. This is a button hook so this part is bone actually and basically 
in the late 1800s, early 1900s, people would use this to hook all the buttons like on their shoes. So that's what this is. This is a pocket watch chain. So it has this little hook on this side and then there's a long chain and then on the other side has this. This was my great grandfather's. We don't know what happened to the pocket watch, but this was, this did go to a swank pocket watch, which was from like the mid to late 1800s, which is so cool. I wish we had the pocket watch. That would be really, really awesome, but at least we have a piece of it. This is like a really nice mechanical pencil from like the 1940s and it still works. It has lead in it. You, you can write with it and everything, but it's like definitely, I don't know, it's, it's a nice pencil. These are no joke. There's a ton of like these clip-on earrings. These were so popular in the 1920s. And these, this pair was my favorite. I think they're so cute. Costume jewelry was huge and so they just, the back of the twist like this, and you just twist it onto your ear. So they actually really hurt if you wear them, but I was like, oh my gosh, I could totally pull those off, like still wear them now and it'd be really cute. There's also these, which I think these kind of look like cannolis, but that's why I like them. I probably wouldn't put them on my ears, but they're like the little cannolis. These are real stone, but not sure if it's jade or something else, but these would be pretty cute to wear too. Once again, they're still, they're still just clip-on. There's also these clip-on earrings that are tiger's eye, so like real stone again, but you screw them on. So all of these are from like the 1920s or so, I don't know, people didn't want to put holes in their ears, which I get it. These are really cute too. Um, just another pair of the same kind that screw like this. Cute! We don't know where this necklace pendant came from, but it's really pretty. Um, I don't know. We think it might, it's probably a real pearl. But there's no necklace for it, it's just the pendant. This, I learned, is a scrimshaw, I think is what it's called. And so it's usually bone that it's carved into, so it's like hand carved into bone. And then this, or ivory, and it's basically it's a tie tack. So men would wear them like on their ties, I guess. I don't totally understand the purpose of it, but it is pretty interesting. This brooch, we have no idea. No idea where it's from. Some of the stones have come out like here, but we think this in the middle is a real stone and it's like a really nice placing. Um, but we don't know whose it was or where it came from or what. This brooch, I've had for a long time um, also passed down and once again I mean we don't know if it's real but it's so pretty and I feel like we really pretty to wear in your hair or something like that oh this this is a compass necklace this is from like the 1920s and it literally is a compass you would wear it as a necklace so that way you could like pull it up and figure out where you are you know old-fashioned Google Maps. Then there's this cute little Russian nesting doll. This is from like the 1920s and so it does have all of the dolls in it. So this is the second one. They're very interesting. Um, I feel like artwork on them. They get really really tiny. There's one inside this. It's so tiny. So, look how tiny it is. I don't think there's one inside of this. Oh my gosh, there is. It's not a doll, it's like a little, it's like a pebble. 
just a little oh my gosh just like a little baby wait that's so funny i didn't know that that was in there i just thought it went to this one but yeah little set of russian nesting dolls oh my gosh i guess they're like a hundred years old that's weird to think about so this is a masonic oh what's it called a masonic protection association fob maybe like 1895 to 1922 because that's the only time that this was a thing and basically it provided insurance for anyone who's in the Freemasons. My grandfathers and like brothers like way back for years were part of the Freemasons which obviously makes me think of a national treasure. But literally like my great 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 grandfather and my great 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 grandfather they were in this, they were in this club. I don't fully know what that means, but they were in it. We also have a Freemason's pen, the G crest. There's a little, I don't know which way it goes. Oh, this way. So you'd wear that, you know, with your outfit. Be like, yeah, I'm, I'm a Freemason, whatever that means. We also have this etched pin. This really reminds me of like the Great Gatsby sort of style, like very art deco. Is that the right word? I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but it's really cute. This little pin is from the Chicago World's Fair in 1893, which is just so weird to me of like, I feel like I listened to it on podcast about stuff from that. But, like, to know that I had a family member who went to it is just, it's very, very interesting to me. Well, yeah, friends, that, that is it. That is the trinket box. You know, I don't have the backstory on everything, but it's interesting to think that this was stuff that my family had that maybe was important to them, maybe it wasn't, that we decided to keep, and that there's stuff that I have now that 100 years from now, one of my future grandchildren is going to be talking about it and think it's so cool. And I think it'd be really funny if it was something that like I didn't care about at all versus something that's really special. So a lot of this stuff, like we don't know whose it was, where it came from. We know it's in our family because it just ends up like in our family's homes, like with all the other stuff that has been passed down and so some of it has like a really clear story and some of it is kind of a mystery but I just think it's interesting to think about the history like tied up into objects in that like to imagine someone living their life with that thing is really cool to me. I know this video was a little different than what I usually do so I hope that you all found it kind of fun and interesting. I don't know. I just thought it'd be something different to try. So thanks for watching. I so appreciate you. If you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, that would be amazing. And I will talk to you soon.